This is a safety tip brought to you by the Certified Horsemanship Association. I'm Julie Goodnight, and this is my equine partner, American Core Horse Gelding, Cliff's Edge. We're here today to talk to you about saddling the English horse. I've got my horse all groomed and ready to go. We paid special attention to the area of the horse where the saddle is gonna sit to make sure that back is clean, the girth area is clean and free of debris and caked on dirt. And in particular, I wanna always check up directly underneath the belly of the horse. This is an area that's out of our sight, and so it's easy to miss caked on dirt and debris under there. But he's all clean and ready to go, so we're ready for our saddle pad here. So I'm going to take the pad and just gently place it over the back of the horse, over the neck, and then I wanna slide it back down into place so that it smooths that hair down as we slide that pad back. If I pull the pad forward and it roughs up the hair underneath the back of the horse, uh, that could cause soreness. So we wanna make sure our horse is comfortable and that hair is smoothed out and uh, laying down nice and smooth on the horse's neck. So once we've got our pad into place, it's time for the saddle. And I'm going to just gently place the saddle up and on the horse's back. And uh, once I get the saddle on the horse's back, I wanna pull the pad up into the gullet of the saddle to create an air space under the wither of the horse. This keeps him more comfortable and is gonna prevent soreness. So I'll uh, kind of stand to the side and find the position for that saddle where it sits nice and flat and balanced on the horse. Now I'm ready for the girth. So I'm going to attach the offside first. So as I come around, I'm just being careful since this saddle is not actually fastened on the horse's back. So I wanna stay close to it, uh, make sure that I can put a hand on that saddle if things, uh, if the horse starts moving around. So I'm gonna attach my offside girth to the first and the last billet strap. So we're not gonna use the middle billet strap. That's your spare in case something were to break. So we're gonna fasten to the front billet strap and the back billet strap and leave the center strap free. We've got a uh, guard that sits over the buckles to help protect the leather of your saddle and for greater comfort for the rider. I wanna make sure that while I'm over here, everything is where it should be, hanging into place. I'm gonna attach this saddle pad to the first billet strap now that I have it fastened. And make sure everything's all neat and tidy and squared away under here. So again, I'm gonna come around the back side of the horse, staying in contact with him, keeping a close eye on that saddle until I get it fastened. Make sure my saddle's sitting um, nice and balanced on the horse's back so that seat is more or less level. As I reach up underneath the belly of the horse to grab that girth, I wanna make sure I'm facing forward so that if this horse were to startle or kick, it would be my backside that he kicks and not my front side. So if I stand forward of the horse facing back, when I reach under to grab that girth, my head is coming into the kick zone of the horse. So standing from the back, I can reach under here and uh, keep my head out of the danger zone. Before I actually buckle this cinch, I like to give the horse a little warning that I'm about to tighten the cinch. So I'll pull down on the saddle and up on the cinch a couple of times just to let the horse know I'm about to tighten. And then I'm gonna come through the bottom straps of the saddle pad up to the billet strap. I don't need to make this girth as absolutely tight as it needs to be right now because I'm not quite ready to ride this horse. So to keep him comfortable, we're just gonna tighten that girth um, just enough to secure the saddle and hold it in place. We'll come back later and tighten this girth a couple more times and then one final time before we get on the horse. And then again, after we've ridden about 10 minutes, we'll check the girth one final time to make sure it's tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach my saddle pad strap again to the first billet strap. And this just holds, helps hold the pad in place. And I'm gonna lay the guard down over 
that and the billet straps of the horse. And now one more thing you always want to check in the English saddle. First of all, when, when the rider is not on the back of the horse, the stirrup should always be in the up position. Uh, only when the rider is ready to mount are we going to actually pull the stirrup down. Uh, we're never going to lead this horse around or tie him up with the stirrups down because the swinging stirrup could cause injury to the horse. If he were to bolt or spook, uh, it could hang up on something. Um, so that for safety reasons, we always leave the stirrups run up when we're not in the saddle. And one more really important thing to check on the stirrups of the English saddle is to make sure this safety latch is in the down position. If the latch is in the up position, it can often, if it's not well maintained and kept clean and oiled on a regular basis, this latch will freeze in the upward position um, and then it could cause the rider to ha hang up a foot in the stirrup uh, when she falls off. So we always want to make sure the safety latch is down. That way, if the rider does come off the horse and the foot hangs up in the stirrup, the entire stirrup leather will just pull right off the saddle of the horse. It's not going to come, come off unless you fall off the horse, so it's perfectly fine to leave that latch in the down position. So I've got my girth in place and tight. I've got the saddle sitting nice and square where I want it to be and uh, now we're ready for the bridle. So again, this is my equine partner, Cliff's Edge. I'm Julie Goodnight, and this is a safety tip brought to you by CHA.